welcome back to my channel if you're new here karibuni sana if you're a returning subscriber hey boo welcome so in this video i start off by arranging these um eggs that i got i usually get my eggs delivered in two trays i believe i got two trays on this day as well so i usually start off by arranging them in my egg trays that i got from kamokonji and then uh put them aside because this other tray the green one needs to be returned the guy was standing was standing at the door so i had to return it to him which is why um i have to arrange them first here and then wash them later and then put them in the fridge i usually put my eggs in the fridge so yeah i do have two of these so the other one i'm just taking it right there and um yeah I arrange every egg in there and I do like doing this myself because I don't want any breaking so that is just me I just prefer to do some things myself if I do not want any mess around the house so yeah oh, I restock on my spaghettis I put them in these containers that I got way back I believe I've had these containers for about five or so years I had gotten them from odds and ends I believe but right now you can get them from Kamokunji if I'm not wrong or you can join a group that I'm running I'll leave the details in the description box below so you can also get yourself one or two if you are interested and then I also don't like drinking cold water. This day I had come out of town pretty early, which is why you see me doing this. And then I'll be cooking later on. So I don't like drinking cold water, which is why I restock or put my water in a flask, put it aside and then drink as I cook. So next up, I decided to take this pan to see if I could use it to cook. But then later on, after cleaning it or rubbing it with a clean towel i noticed that the coating was still coming off so i decided to put it aside and use another pan that i still have oh my gosh if you haven't watched my worst kamokonji bias you should go and watch it but this pan it's the worst investment that i've done in my house i still regret buying this pan to date anyways so i'll be cooking dinner for my husband i'll be cooking him ugali and some spinach and of course the tuna that i bought from city market the other time if you haven't watched the video i'm going to leave it in the link so you can watch it so i'll be deep frying that or shallow frying it in extra virgin oil and um butter and some garlic so it's going to be so yummy and then just onions you'll just see in a bit so this is my butter that you see me holding that's why i store my butter these things i got this one as well from kamokonji it's really really amazing for storing your butter and i put a lot of butter because i wanted to be buttery in the mouth oh this fish was so delicious this was the the easiest recipe that i've done actually very very easy just deep frying it because it had already been marinated i'm not going to add anything apart from now the onions later on but you'll see all that so as that is cooking over there i'll be chopping up my onions and of course do not throw away the extra marinade that's in the silicone bag over there you just put it or pour it in it's very very good because it's marinade so yeah let me chop up these onions and then add them later on but i'll let this tuna cook for about five to eight minutes on each side and it is going to be ready i want it to be golden brown 
for it to be like somehow crunchy on the outside i also went ahead and changed up as you can see i wanted to start cooking my ugali at this time and so i had to change to a um, high heat cooker for the tuna and the lower one for my ugali So on the same pan, after removing my tuna, I went ahead and fried my onions right there and then. On the same pan, do not change the pan here. If you still want the fish to taste really well, you need to use that oil that you have used to deep fry your fish in. So yeah, you deep fry or you fry the onions on the same pan and then later on, place the onions on the side and then return the tuna on the lower side and then place the onions on top that's what i do and it tasted really amazing now for the rest of it you can uh, just add parsley at the end of it or you add fresh coriander or yeah dried parsley or whatever that you want really you can also add cream if you want you can add literally anything that you feel is what you want your tuna to taste like but i wanted it to just be the tuna and the onions really really yummy and hubby loved it he was so ecstatic may i add so this is the finished result of that meat in the kentel mm. oh my gosh mm. this is so good so this is what my husband is going to eat we've already eaten uh, gali and fish but i know he didn't finish all this so the kids can have the rest tomorrow and then i'm just going to leave it as it is and then i did make him his brown ugali he eats brown ugali as for us we ate white ugali because the kids do not love the white ugali and then hey that's it this is the best set yet anyone can ask for their home so i am really loving it how it helps me in the kitchen to cook my foods that's the set well this is nothing it's drying 
but this is the set it has everything from the steel um serving spoon to i don't know eggs and whatever also this is for stews and soups um this could be for baking also this is for baking and i don't know uh, your pastries um this is for rice i believe and then this is for spaghetti and then i have this one for stirring and then the silicone um tongs i believe that's what you call them so yeah that set looks like that i'm really really loving that i got this set and oh my kitchen keeps on getting better every day and then yeah the, fin the finished uh, product is that uh, it tastes and smells really well uh, yeah so he will have that brown ugali some avocado and this is what we ate it's ugali in there and then we have some spinach right there please don't mind my sephoria he endured too many haribi here but still cooks so yeah so let me call this a night and i'll probably catch you um later or in my next video shares bye